Okay, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to remove and replace a micro USB connector. Sometimes these connectors go bad, the pin in them goes bad. Best thing to do is uh, go ahead and take it off, put a new one on. So, first thing we're going to do, use the hot air. Heat up around it here. <clears throat> so when you put it back on, you want to be careful because there's plastic inside this connector and you don't want to melt it. So you don't want to use <clears throat> direct heat right on the part. You want to heat up around the part, the board. Okay. There we go. We'll take that off. Inspect the pads. You want them to be fairly clean. We'll put a little bit of flux on here. I'm going to use the soldering iron. Make sure the these pin pads have some solder. Okay. Now you want these you want these holes to also have some solder in them. If they don't, these are your through holes. So the typical USB connector will have the through holes because it's stronger, and it'll have surface mount. These pins are surface mount, and the pads are surface mount. So that all adds up. So uh, now we'll grab the new part. You can see the pins on the bottom. Let's make sure we put a little bit of flux. You don't want too much. Let's line it up. Now it's going to sit on the board until the solder melts. So we're going to go ahead and hold it down so the air doesn't blow it. Yeah, you can see it sink down. Just make sure it's lined up. That should do it. Now it's going to be hot. Let that cool off for a second. Let's take a look. You want to be sure that you didn't melt any of the plastic. You can see the pins are perfect in there. And it's seated nicely. Underneath the solder looks like it got the, the legs nicely too. You want to check your data pins. Pins on the outside, that's five volts. The three pins in the middle are data. The last pin over here is ground. So what we're gonna do is check the, we're gonna check it to make sure it, it's working. 
So we're going to apply power to the board. Okay, USB connectors have 5 volts, so we should see 5 volts. Okay, we'll turn our meter onto voltage. See what we can see here. I'll leave links to all the tools I use in the description. Okay, I see five volts. So it's working. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We appreciate you watching.